Welcome back to The Real Story and to another episode of How Slots Work. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Return to Player or RTP and um, trying to explain it in a bit more detail and uh, demystify it a bit, I think. I covered RTP a bit in my previous video, uh, so if you haven't seen that video I suggest you go and watch it and uh, just get a bit of background on slots in general. But I want to go into a lot more detail on RTP in this video and actually give some tangible examples that you can uh, follow to understand exactly what it is, uh, how it works, how it's generated and how it's changed. So first things first, um, let's just go over again what RTP is. RTP is uh, return to player and it is the percentage amount that a game will return to a player on average over uh, its lifetime or over a, you know, a large number of spins. So if a game had a 90% RTP, then on average for every £100 you put into it, you would be returned £90. Now when I say on average, I mean over several million spins. But this is something I'll go into in more detail later in the video um, with some examples, so hopefully it makes more sense and uh, shows you just the um, the impact that statistics has on this kind of thing. So the first thing I want to do is go over um, what a lot of people think RTP is and uh, how they think it works. So a common vision of RTP is that it's something that a casino sets. So uh, there is a casino manager somewhere and he decides that a particular game um, is going to have a particular RTP and he opens up some kind of administrative console and he types in the number you know, 90%, and that's the RTP that he set his game at. They then think that as the game is played, it targets that percentage um, by changing results and changing different players' results in order to try and get as close to that percentage as possible. So as an example, let's go through 10 spins um, and how they might happen in uh, this type of scenario. So let's say we're betting one pound per spin, uh, and on our first spin, we stake our pound and we win nothing, so our RTP is zero. On the next spin, we uh, stake another pound, we win one pound, so at this point we've staked two, we've won one, so our return is 50%. Now on our next spin, we win seven pounds, so we have a total win of eight pounds, a total stake of three pounds, but that puts our return right up to 267%. Now people think this makes the game think, oh no, I've paid out too much, so I have to stop paying until this comes uh, into a good level. So for all of our next spins, the, uh, the winning is zero. We don't win anything, and the RTP number starts to come down as we put more money in and we get less money out. Until eventually, on our ninth spin, we've gone under 100% RTP, we've put in £9, we've only won £8, and so the game thinks, oh great, okay, now I can pay some money again. And then it pays out a little bit more, and it gets to 90% RTP. And it just sort of does this over and over again. If it goes above, then it drops it down. If it goes below, then it drops it up, and it's massaging the numbers um, as it goes along. Now, this perception of RTP is, of course, completely and utterly wrong. A game has no concept of how much money you've put into it, no concept of how much uh, money other people have put into it, no concept of how much money has been put into it before you started playing it or after you stopped playing it. It does not know and it does not care. Because the RTP is actually a number that is calculated based on the mathematical model of the game. It's not something that is set and the game is forced to adhere to. It's just the natural way that the game plays and pays out based on the way that it's been created. So I wanted to give a practical example to illustrate this um, and hopefully make it uh, more visual and easier to understand. So what I've done is I've uh, actually built my own slot machine, very very simple one, um, and I'm going to walk you through uh, how that works and how I've put it together and then um, show you how I can generate the RTP by simulation, finding out what the RTP is and also how I can change it. So these are the symbols that I've chosen for my slot machine, a blue big symbol and an orange small symbol. And this is what the pay table will look like. If you get two small symbols, you'll get 1.5 times your stake back, and if you get two big symbols, you'll get three times your stake back. Now I'm only going to have two reels in my slot machine, and each of them is going to have four symbols in it, so these are my reel sets. Reel number one is going to have three small symbols and one big symbol, and reel number two is going to have two small symbols and two big symbols. So when we put all that together, this is what the slot machine will actually look like and how it can perform. So one uh, result could be a small symbol and a big symbol, 
or we can run another result and it will spin and we will end up with a big symbol and a small symbol. Both of those are losing spins, so we won't get anything back. If there were two small symbols, we'd get 1.5 times our stake, and if it was two big symbols, we'd get three times our stake, just as I defined in the pay table. So here's where we're gonna get a bit techy. I'm gonna go through the code of um, what I wrote to develop this slot machine. Um, if you know how to program, then you'll probably understand this, it's in PHP. Uh, if you don't code, you don't understand programming, then I'll be going through it sort of line by line, so hopefully you'll at least be able to see uh, what I was doing at the time. So the first two highlighted lines at the top there are me defining my real sets. So I'm defining real set number one and de defining real set number two. Real set number one is being defined as a small, a small, a small, and a big symbol, and that is the one, 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 two you can see in that array. And for real set number two, as before, we've defined it as two small symbols and two big symbols. And as you can see by the highlighted text, that is defined as a one, a one, a two, and a two in the array there. The next two highlighted lines are just setting some variables to zero before we begin, so that's our total stake and our total winnings will start out at zero because we haven't played anything yet. The next highlight is what's called a for loop, so everything in those highlighted curly brackets will basically get repeated um, until a certain event occurs. And that particular event is where it's now highlighted the number 1000, which means basically it will repeat 1000 times. So if I ran this now, I would be effectively simulating this slot for 1,000 spins. The idea is that I can change that number later on so I can simulate more or less spins and I'll, uh, I'll be doing some detail around that in terms of uh, statistical modeling later. So this line is me just increasing my total stake every time that I spin. So you can see that we've got a plus one in there. So effectively what I'm doing is I'm adding one pound every time I make a spin. So I'm betting one pound per spin. Now these are the important lines. This is where the result is getting generated. So you can see there we're generating two results. That's going to be the result for reel number one and the result for reel number two. So one symbol for the first, one symbol for the second reel. And we're doing that by generating uh, one of four random numbers between zero and three, which will be the position on our reels to stop. So our reels have got four symbols, so we need uh, random numbers between zero and three, four different random numbers to choose which of the symbols that it's going to stop on. So here we're checking to see if the result is uh, two small symbols. So result number one is equal to one, and if result number two is equal to one, i.e. they're both small symbols, then as from our pay table, we'll be uh, winning something. And what we win is 1.5 times our stake. So because I'm only staking one pound, I'm just adding 1.5 or one pound 50 to our total winnings. Now we're doing the same again to check to see if the result was two big symbols. And if it was, then we're adding three to our total winnings because, as the pay table said, two big symbols is three times our stake, and our stake is one pound, so we'll win three. So once all the spins have completed, we then need to work out what our return to player, what our RTP was for all of those spins. So we take our total win, we divide it by the total stake, we times it by 100 to get a percentage. And then the final highlighted lines here are just me uh, outputting the results to the web page so that I can see what happened. So I can see the total stake that went in, I can see the total winnings that came out, and then I can see the RTP, the return to player, that was calculated. And again, this is the average RTP over all the spins that I played. So this is a, effectively a simulation that is allowing me to understand what the return on this slot machine is based on the reels and the payouts that I've defined. So what I've done is I've um, run that 1000 spin uh, simulation 10 times and taken the result of the return to player each time it completed. And here is what came out. So you can see actually the, the percentage varies quite a lot. I think the lowest there is 88.65%, uh, the highest is 98.7%. That is a big variance, that's a 10% variance. In, uh, in the return to player based off a thousand spins. And this is where I want to start to talk about statistical significance. What I mean by statistical significance is actually having enough data points to make it so that you don't have huge swings in the results that you're getting out the other end. So what you often see on forums and things is somebody saying, I did a thousand spins on Bonanza, I did two thousand spins on Bonanza and I only got one bonus round and it was rubbish, the game must be rigged. And what I'm trying to prove here is that a thousand spins is nothing. A thousand spins, your, your thousand spins do not matter. That is nothing more than anecdotal evidence. You know, it's, it's story evidence. It's not statistical evidence. And just to prove how many spins you need to do to even get near um, any kind of accuracy, I've, uh, I've done a few more simulations with increasing numbers of spins. 
So here are the results from 10,000 spins, and again, I've run it 10 times. You can see that we're still getting a pretty big variance there, 91% at the lowest, 95% at the highest. You know, that's 4% uh, difference, which is, is massive. So let's up it to 100,000 spins. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit more accurate. Most of them are 93%, although there's still a couple of 94% in there. We've still got a you know a 1% margin of error, which is big. All right, now let's go for a million spins. Now this is looking better. Everything is on the 93%, but actually we've still got uh, quite a big variance in the 0.1 column. You know, we're going from uh, 0.60 up to 0.88 in terms of um, the decimals. And that's still quite a lot, you know, it's still a 0.2% a, a variance, which when you're talking about millions and millions of pounds is effectively thousands and thousands of pounds. So let's push it even further. Let's go 10 million spins. And this is where you start to get into the territory of um, what would be considered an accurate simulation. And actually, you probably need to go further than this. But looking at 10 million spins, we're, we're getting quite accurate here. Um, there's not a huge amount of variance, but you know we do still have a, a 0.68 and we do still have a 0.84. So there's still, you know, even over 10 million spins, there's still a, a decent margin of error occurring there. So actually, you may even want to push this to 50 million or 100 million spins if you really want to be proving what the RTP of your math mathematical model of your slot machine is. It's also worth noting that this slot machine had two symbols, two reels, and only four symbols on each reel. That's tiny. To put that into perspective, Danger High Voltage has six reels, it has 11 different symbols, and it has 178 symbols on each reel. So the number of uh, permutations, the number of combinations that you can make out of that is, is absolutely astronomical. And then you have to add in the bonus rounds as well. So you see that when you're trying to uh, to understand what the RTP of a game is, you need to do massive numbers of simulations for uh, for any kind of accuracy to occur. Um, so you know, the next time you see someone posting about, "Oh, I've done a thousand spins and the game is rigged," it's nonsense. You know, a thousand spins is absolutely nothing. So the next thing I want to talk about is how actually we can change the RTP. So say I'm developing a slot machine um, and my RTP is too high or it's too low. Well, what what do I have to change to to move the RTP to somewhere where I need it to be. Well, one method is to change the payout. So here, what would happen if we changed the win on our big symbols, the two big symbols, from a three into a five? Well, here's our code, and the highlighted number five there is um, how we would change it. So we, that will used to be a number three. We'll change that to a number five. So we're now winning five times our stake every time we, we hit that win. And the result is, 118.8% RTP. So on the previous one, we were around 93. So you can see that's made a massive difference to our RTP just by changing that one number. Another method to change it is uh, to change how the reels look. So add or remove symbols or change the symbols on the reel set. So if we change one of those big symbols to a small symbol on reel two, so both reels are three smalls and one big, then what happens? Well, here's the code for that one. And you can see up the uh, top of the screen there, highlighted is that number one. That used to be a number two. We've now changed it from a big symbol to a small symbol. And when we run the simulation, the RTP comes out as 103.15. Okay, well, what if we make both of those changes? So you can see on the highlighted text, we've changed the three to a five on the total win for a uh, two big symbols. And we've changed the real set number two to be three small symbols and one big. And we would expect this to come in somewhere between uh, the first change and the second change. And we run our simulation, and in actual fact, it does. It comes in at 115.6%. So there you have it. Um, hopefully all of this made sense. Uh, I really just wanted to try and demystify RTP and give you a kind of look under the hood of how these numbers work and how they're created and how they're changed and how people who make slot machines tweak the numbers and tweak things to to get a mathematical model of a game that is profitable for them but also fun for players to play which is crucially where it's at if the RTP is too low players won't play a game because they're not winning enough if the RTP is too high then the game uh, provider and the the casino operator are not making enough money so that's why you get games sitting between kind of 93 97 percent as that's the the sweet spot that allows casinos and operators to make money but allows players to win sometimes um, and not lose too much too quickly so the next time you see someone uh, saying, you know, a slot machine is rigged or they've done their thousand spins and it's clearly 
uh, rubbish, then you know you can point them at this video and hopefully it will give them some insight into how these things actually work and uh, help them understand the reason why you know some people win, some people lose. Um, on average, uh, everybody loses except the casino because uh, they're always going to be making their percentage slice of the pie. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this was informative. If you like the content, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more of this kind of stuff to come, uh, as well as the regular gambling videos. And um, also don't forget to enter our giveaways, our free cash giveaways. You can see the link in the description down below. Um, it's absolutely no obligation to spend any money with uh, Ojo when you sign up or anything like that. You just have to sign up an account uh, and then you get a ticket to try and win some free cash. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And other than that, I will see you next time. Catch you later.